In mixed martial arts, fighting is more than just a sport. It is a way of life. I'm a true mixed martial artist. My dad was a fighter, been in martial arts my whole life. They could kind of pick themselves up from a certain life as far as society was concerned. He didn't have that much of a chance to make it. While Nick Diaz and KJ Noons may have come from opposite backgrounds, they were fated to be rivals both in and out of the cage. Who the hell is Nick Diaz? I've been doing this my whole life. You know, he probably did it because he got picked on in high school by people like me. Now he's, now he's fighting back the bullies, but I'm still coming. Rockstar Energy Drink presents Collision Course, Diaz versus Noons 2. Fueled by resentment over how their first battle went down, Nick Diaz is training harder than ever in the Lodi branch of his very own Caesar Gracie gym. I'll tell you what, it's hard to get a black belt with me, and that guy put in the effort. As one of only three people to be awarded a black belt by Caesar Gracie, Diaz continues to perfect his skills. He runs through an increasing gauntlet of training partners, along with extensive pad work with longtime boxing trainer Richard Perez. He's got his boxing game going, he's got his ground game going, he's doing what he does for every fight. As the gym winds down, everyone retires for the night, all except one person. Nick Diaz remains determined and continues to prepare in solitude. While Diaz centers his camp on the familiar between his own gym and Caesar Gracie's, KJ Noons treks south of the border to Tijuana, Mexico in search of swift and hungry southpaws. We're not here for fun, we came here for straight business. This is what we do, we just kick ass everywhere we go. Go around the city trying to find the best sparring and find the best guys to make us better as a team so that way we enter the competition knowing that we've done everything that we can do to be the very best. For both combatants, all of the hard work has paid off. Since their first meeting in 2007, each has been unstoppable. KJ Noons won his last four fights, and in his most recent strike force bout, he defeated veteran George Gurgel with brutal ease. As for Nick Diaz, he's finished all seven of his last opponents and earned the strike force welterweight title against dream champion Marius Joromskis. But the only thing that matters to him now is avenging his only loss in three years. I'm really grateful for him, you know, stepping forward to take this fight. He has great ground, but his stand-up is mediocre, you know, if you get a good striker in there like myself. I think right now he thinks he's a little bit better than he is. Is he going to stand? No, because I'm a better fighter than him. He's not a boxer. Pick him apart. Easy. Easy money. I think Casey's a decent boxer. He's not great. I just think that he's a little bit too small to, to dominate me in boxing, you know. I just I just believe that, you know, I've had a lot of sparring experience, a lot of different people, and I'd be really amazed with this guy if he keep up with me boxing. Nick's more of a advanced patty cake. That's the type of fighting style he has. <laughs> what's there to talk about? There's nothing to talk about. What's there to talk about next fight? Not much. It's gonna be the same thing as last time. As fight night approaches, the two will use their mutual hatred as fuel for the battle ahead. Each will spend countless hours in the gym, pushing harder every day, all in anticipation for their showdown on October 9th. Next time, we meet up with both fighters in San Jose as training reps, and they face the last few days before their rematch. Follow Nick Diaz and KJ Noons as they maneuver final fight week preparation, press conferences, photo shoots, and the media.